Hi guys, welcome to this video. If you recently read my blog post about minimalism and the minimalists thing that I watched on Netflix, then you will know that I'm trying to simplify my life and the first step that I decided to take in that journey was to go through my wardrobe and try and get rid of as much as possible. Um, I have a lot of pairs of jeans, as you can see, and loads of those jeans I don't wear or have never worn, so, and they've got holes in, so I have decided to give the majority of them away. The ones with holes in have been thrown away. This is quite, probably not a big deal for a lot of people, but I've always been one of those people with so many clothes, but never anything to wear. So I'm hoping that by doing this, it will mean that I'm more appreciative of the things I do have. Now to be a true minimalist, you're supposed to only have basic things, but all of the videos I've ever watched on minimalism are from people who live in America. I'm sure there are ones of people in the UK, but the main thing I'm trying to say is the UK has seasons and within those seasons, are more seasons so it's kind of difficult to only be down to like three pairs of jeans when I will have to wear jeans for the majority of the year because it's always too cold for anything else so I tried to keep this video short as well but this is down from 30 minutes you should be lucky that I managed to get this so these jeans that I'm putting away are the ones I'm keeping I think I kept four pairs and then the majority, which I think maybe about five or six of the pairs, are being donated. I have a lot of jumpers and like sweatshirts and things, so I have to keep them just because I always have to wear them. I always wear jumpers, so the thing as well with minimalism is supposed to be you only keep the things that bring you joy. Guys, jumpers bring me joy. I need them, I wear them constantly. And that's not saying that I didn't throw things away, like jumpers, but no, I kept most of them, I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't say I'm going to go full minimalist, but I definitely do want to downsize. It just seems like a better way of living. You should check out the blog post. There's going to be a follow-up blog post from the initial one, which is going to be about this video. But of course, you guys being the secret group are going to be the only people who see the video. So be thankful, or maybe not, maybe don't be thankful. <laughs> so let me see what's going on here. Jumpers, jumpers, jumpers. I have a load of hoodies, well, three hoodies. And you can probably see them on the left-hand side there. Every time somebody buys me a hoodie, it's maroon. <laughs> and I don't know why, but this does seem like my kind of hoodie color. Oh yes, here I am just showcasing all of my wonderful clothes. Also, maybe just for a fun game, try and count how many times I have to turn things to the correct side, because all of my tops and jeans and everything are inside out. I don't know how or why, but apparently I'm lazy like that. <laughs> so this is all the things I'm keeping from the bottom shelves. Now I'm just going through, everybody needs a blazer, right? So there's me and my lovely blue ba blazer blue blazer, difficult to say. I have a lot of scarves as well. Um, I'm not throwing scarves away because scarves are my pride and joy. I have so many scarves, but I love them. I wear them all the time. I sit in my office um, with scarves on. People laugh at me, but I'm always cold, so scarves are my go-to. That was my lovely Paris scarf. This one I just got randomly, so I'm throwing it away. T-shirts, T-shirts, T-shirts. Again, I have a lot of T-shirts with prints on. Minimalism people tend to just have basic t-shirts that are all plain, <laughs> but I don't buy plain t-shirts. All of my t-shirts have prints on them. Yeah, I'm going to have to turn them all the right way around. My beautiful NASA t-shirt. Which one is this one? My Batman t-shirt. So yeah, I don't have any plain t-shirts. They're all patterned in some way. I'm not getting rid of them. I do have a lot of grey t-shirts though, as you can see. I like grey t-shirts. So let me know in the comments whether you're interested in this. Do you do this? I believe this is something people do regularly, going through their clothes and throwing things away. I haven't done it for a long time. I did it before I moved into this flat, actually, 
but even still, um, I have a lot of junk that I can get rid of. I also have a lot of pyjamas. I haven't been through all my pyjamas yet to throw them away, but I do collect pyjamas. I don't need them. Also, the state of my room is ridiculous because I haven't gone through any of that stuff yet either. Oh, Gina was very excited when I was doing this, by the way. She was frolicking around, watching me and trying to grab all the things that I was getting rid of. Oh, I own a lot of t-shirts. It's infuriating that they're all inside out. Oh God, I love teasing Juno. No wonder she hates me. The next thing that I'm gonna be doing is going through all my makeup, so there will be a video coming up on that as well. Um, I own so much makeup, it's untrue, but I only wear the ba like basic makeup. I don't wear a lot of makeup, so I'm gonna go through all of that and try and simplify it. So yeah, just just stay tuned for all of this. I really should have thought about things to say when I was recording this, so let's just, oh, this is the part where Juno opens the door and this is my dressing gown just poking through and I didn't realise it for the entire rest of the video, so I'm sorry for your obstructed view of my beautiful wardrobe. <laughs> it's so difficult throwing clothes out. I do have attachments to clothes that I know I shouldn't have, especially things that I've had for a long time, like this Gap top, which I love, but it's kind of like a crop top, which I don't like. And this Superman top, which I've had forever. I got it in LA years ago um, from a vintage t-shirt shop. shop. Um, but it doesn't fit me. I don't know, it did used to fit me, so I don't know why it doesn't fit me now. It must have just shrunk in the wash because I've definitely lost weight since I got it. But I just can't wear it anymore. This is, oh, you should see the amount of shirts and stuff I have. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't like lumberjack shirts? To be fair, I did get rid of one and it was my most recently purchased lumberjack shirt. I think it was this one because it's just cheap quality and I don't like wearing it. It was just for the sake of having a, a shirt. Um, kind of wastefully, I bought it in Dublin because I forgot to take my lumberjack shirt with me when I was going to a Nashville gig. Um, so I just went and bought a really cheap one, which is, just really wasteful and uh, just a waste of money even though it was only a few pounds but or euros I guess um but that's you know I want to start spending money on really good items rather than having loads of crap items so whilst I'm keeping all of this stuff I love stripes by the way who doesn't and um, whilst I'm keeping all of this stuff um I'm going to be more thoughtful about the purchases I make. I'm also going to be trying to buy clothes ethically from ethical stores, um, which means I'm going to be replacing all of this stuff eventually anyway. So I'm keeping all of this for, I love that color, the color of that t-shirt by the way, but I just can't wear it. It's just not for me. Um, yeah, so I want to have really good items and I don't mind spending a lot of money on really good items. So I'm going to keep most of this because summer's coming up and I don't know what the weather's going to be like. And then eventually, when I buy new clothes, I'm going to throw away or give away the other stuff. But the, this is just so difficult. I can't throw away a Saved by the Bell t-shirt. I got that in LA as well and I just can't do that to myself. But I wear t-shirts all the time. And they're never plain. They are always, they always have things on them. I wish I was like a classic clothing person, but I'm not. I'm just like a teenage boy. <laughs> for, like for real. But look at this fancy see through -y shirt with lace on it, which I have never properly worn, but I'm looking for a new job at the moment. And so I want to keep it just in case there's interviews. Obviously I'll wear something underneath it because I won't wear a see-through shirt to an interview. Saying that, I did wear this jumper to an interview the other day, which has got a hole in the back. <laughs> but you know, you gotta be a bit sassy. I don't even know where I'm up to here now, just stripes all the time. But these are good stripes. These actually were pretty decent. Oh, did you see that throw into the washing basket? 
Also, does anybody actually wash? Oh, I got this recently and I paid a bit of money for it, but it's got a hole in it, which is annoying. Um, does anybody actually manage to keep their white things white? Maybe it's because I don't wash all white things together. <laughs> I don't own enough white things to have, do a white wash. Oh, they're my new pair of jeans that I accidentally put in the dryer. I haven't yet tried them on again to see if they still fit. <laughs> I'm hoping for the best. Okay, guys, you'll be happy to know this is the final part, my dress section. Um, I don't wear dresses often. In the summer, I try and wear them more, obviously, because uh, I do love dresses, but I always feel insecure wearing them. This is my nice spanish -y summer dress. This is my jumper dress, which I've not worn in years, and so it's going, as much as I loved it. I just haven't worn it. Um, this is actually a skirt that I made in a dressmaking class, and I think it will fit if I put it on properly. Obviously, it's not over jeans. Um, but I was just happy to, like, I actually made a skirt, so I'm going to keep that for just being cool. Love this dress, even though it's inside out. Um, hate this dress. Don't know what I was thinking. Cheap dress. And this dress, again, cheap. Kind of like the idea of it, but I don't at the same time, so being given away. I've worn this dress all of once and it's kind of like a toweling, terry clothy thing and I love it, the colour and everything, but it, if you've got a bit of a tummy like me, it just doesn't look great. And I've got to keep my lovely skirts, even though I'm kind of tall-ish, 5'7", so when you buy skirts that are a little bit short, they seem to make them for people who are small, so they are quite short on me, but I don't care, I'm still going to wear them. I don't like this dress at all. I hate it. There's no stretch in the material and I like stretching my material, you know what I'm saying? Um, what was this dress? My spotty dress. This one is a fancy dress and I like it a lot. Um, and then this skirt is usually my holiday skirt. But um, yeah, it always needs ironing and I don't own an iron. And then my monkey dress, which if you've seen my Instagram account, and whenever I wear it, I post a picture because I love it so much. And then you've got to have a classic shirt dress. I remember wearing this once and getting absolutely drenched in a downpour. And so the memory is fresh and I love it. So I can't get rid of it. I don't own a lot of shoes, so I'm kind of keeping all of my shoes. I have boots for the rain. I have two pairs of flats. I bought this belt once because I thought I was cool. Um, but I don't wear belts, so I'm just giving it away. <laughs> oh, I don't do belts at all. And then finally, yeah, another belt that I'm throwing. Um, my fancy bag for weddings and such. And you always need hats. And I only own three hats, and I love them because they're silly. Like this cat hat. <laughs> so I'm going to keep the hats because why not? So if you're interested in minimalism and watching The Minimalists on Netflix, these are the clothes I'm giving away. These are the clothes with holes in that I'm binning. Um, check out the blog post, I'll put the link in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.